Hi everybody, it's Chef Colleen Covey and today we're going to make something sweet and simple, key lime pie. And I love a graham cracker crust, so let's get started with that. And what you're going to need are eight graham crackers. And if you want to beat them up in a bag, I've, I've done that before, but I'm, today I'm going to use a good old food processor. Just break them up into some pieces, toss them in there. Then I have two tablespoons of sugar that I'm putting in there. And I always put a pinch of salt, because I just, this is, um, I'm using salt-free butter in the crust. So just a little pinch of salt in there. And five tablespoons of melted butter. So just in there you, everybody in the pool. All right, let's put the cap on that. Just pulse it to a fine crumb. Hang on, I think I got a couple of holdouts. Get down there, you guys. If you have to scrape it down once, that's okay. There's just a couple chunks in there that want to cooperate. Do as I tell you. Okay. Yay! So I went and bought, uh, these are nice heavy duty aluminum cartons and I found them at my grocery store. You don't even need to grease the pan, just go ahead and put all the crumbs in. And then we're going to pat it into place. And if you have a jelly jar or a glass to use, that's it's actually even better than your hands. There. I mean, because it's it just a nice even pressure. Pat it down around the sides, down in the middle, up the sides. And then we're going to press it against the sides. I use my finger and hold it down, and then press it against the sides. I want to make sure. And I'm going to continue this, and then once we get it all pressed and into place, we're going to put it in a 350 degree oven for 8 to 10 minutes and just kind of give it that first initial browning. And then we'll be back, okay? And 8 minutes later, we have a nice toasted pie crust. Super simple, easy to do. And this goes together just as easy. Basically, to a bowl, you're going to add 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. This has to be one of the easiest pies in the world, not to mention one of the tastiest. I think a lot of the imagination comes in too, how do you want to garnish it? Sometimes I'll toast uh, a sliver, not slivered almonds, the little flaked almonds. I'll toast those and then do little flowerettes of, of whipped cream around the edge and sprinkle that. Always using zest is a great idea. So a 14 ounce can, sweetened condensed milk, three egg, yolks only. You can save the whites for meringues. Um, you can freeze them if you have those little ice cube trays. You can freeze them and uh, and use them for meringues or recipes later. Sometimes I whip them add later and add them into a cake to make the cake a little higher. Uh, also egg white omelets. So, so far sweetened condensed milk, three egg yolks, one half cup of key lime juice. Now normally I don't uh, promote a product with this stuff. I know I'm not joking. Okay, it's this stuff. It's awesome. And you only need half a cup to make a terrific pie. And I went ahead and took a Persian lime and zested it. So I've got the zest of one lime going in there. And I don't know why I have you. I don't want you right now. You come back later. I want you. Let's just whisk this up. And sweet condensed milk is so thick. So you just make this homogenous, and you know, I just kind of cleaned up my area while my pie crust was cooking and cooling. So, I mean, that's pretty much cooled by now. It takes only a minute or two. Get my egg yolks in, get this really mixed. That's the hardest part of it, just mixing it. 
and you can see the flex the line in there. Now I want you all. Get all this stuff out of the way. Bye bye. Keep on bye. Also, I got a tray because I don't trust myself. So I'm going to put this on a tray and then just basically pour this into your prepared pie crust and it's gonna go back into that 350 degree oven for 10 minutes. Then when we take it out, you cool it for 10 minutes and then the hard part is you have to refrigerate it. So we'll probably come back after it's been refrigerated if we're gonna slice it. But look at this, how much easier could that be? Make sure I got all of it, yeah buddy. While this is in for 10 minutes, I'll go ahead and clean up the rest of my area. Clean as you go. And we are going to be left with a delicious key lime pie with specks of that beautiful lime juice running through it. You see that? Oh, so beautiful. All right, I just got my hands dirty. I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> All right, look at here. Uh, we have had our key lime pie in the oven. Now I did only bake this 10 minutes, but it really should go for probably 15, just to be on the safe side. And that's at 350 degrees, center rack. I put mine on a pan. And then you have, before you even move it, once you take it out, let it rest for a good 10 minutes, then move it to the counter, let it cool a little bit, and then it's three hours in the refrigerator. That's where you have to be a little bit patient. But the proof is in the pudding. Let's see how this one turned out. And the first slice, as most of us know, is always the trickiest. Come on, baby, slice. Look at that! It worked! Woo! As long as the egg's cooked and the egg's set and it's not runny, this was a 10 minute bake. But um, if you want to play it safe, between 10 and 15 minutes, 15 minutes tops. But look at that beautiful graham cracker crust that we pre-baked for 10 minutes and that's just butter and sugar. Um, and then, oh I forgot a spoon. I need a spoon. I am happy. I'm a happy girl. Now to uh, to get this ready to serve, I just whipped up a little bit of, this is regular whipping cream with a couple tablespoons of powdered sugar in it because powdered sugar has a stabilizer. And I always beat it to soft peaks. I like a soft whipping cream, not, not too, too hard. So you just, well, if you're gonna pipe it, you wanna do that a little bit uh, more to stiff peak. But this is gonna be this beautiful dollop. Hello, dollop. Dollop that, I toasted some almonds, put that right around the crust, and then just, just for prettiness, an extra little bit of lime zest over the top. I think I have to bring this closer just so you can see it. Can you see that? Can you see the lime zest? I think it's gonna be good. Oh look, I just happen to have something to taste this with. Get a little bit of everything, some of that crust. <laughs> oh my gosh, you wish you were here. It is creamy. You get the tang of that fantastic lime juice. And yeah, it's Nellie and Joe's. I always want to call you Fred, Joe, so I really apologize, but it's a key lime juice and it makes three pies, that one little bottle, and it's maybe a $3 bottle of juice. So absolutely perfect. Toasted almonds, that cream. You guys have to try this. The easiest pie in the world, key lime pie. And uh, I'm Chef Colleen Covey. Look me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube for my videos. And until next time, 
See you later.